What's up guys, Kurt here from Buckeye Yag Bassin. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, today we're gonna be doing a little Six Sense unboxing. Uh, this is the tailored sack for January 2021. Um, this month they did something a little different. Normally they send them out in those little, you guys have seen them, they're the little velvet crown royal type style bags. Uh, this month they went ahead and gave us uh, one of their small bait bags in the navy and red color. Uh, I'm excited about that. Uh, it's something I can actually use uh, personally, and I don't just throw it away to the side or give out to the kid or, you know, wh whatever. So it's actually adds a little value to the box. So they sell these on their store for 10 bucks, but like I said, this month the sack came with them. Apparently I've done this before. This is the first time I've been on board, or the first time I've got one since I've been on board with them, which is only, uh, this is month, month three for me, so. Let's check them out. Let's open it up. Start off with this bad boy. This is a Cloud9 C10. Uh, they call this Jaint Juice. It's a 516th ounce, uh, 68 millimeter size bait. Dives uh, 8 to 12 feet. So open it up. Let's see what's up with it. It's a nice little crankbait, say. It's got a deep rattle in there, yeah, sticky hooks, but it's got that, that real jade, uh, well, creamy green color, and then that nice lavender on the back with the, that, that black spot there, there you go, you can see a little bit better there. But it's got those nice eyes. Quality stuff from Sixth Sense all around, as always. Those nice big hooks. Um, definitely excited to fish that. It's got that classic Sixth Sense D-shaped split ring. So, well, we'll um, yeah, we're definitely. Th I'm definitely throwing that this this year. Everything from Sixth Sense is. It's almost always a hit for me, just because their their colorways are so great like there's there's no color from them i haven't seen from any bait with whether it be on their website or in person that i do not like like they've they've got premium colors and every everything i've ever ever actually used from them swims swims really good got it's got it's got good action but all right next up we got the crush 50s it's the silent model say 60 millimeter in size, uh, 3 8 ounce, dives 2 to 5 feet. Uh, it's a square bill. This is their their baby bass pattern. As you can see, it's a that's a quality quality paint job for them, especially for being mass produced. I mean, it's pretty pretty good. Always their same old good hooks, that same D style split ring. You know, that good dark green on the back with their they're marking that good red eye and just that great, great pattern. So we'll throw that one around too. I don't, I don't get into the baby bass color so much just because I don't know. Like, I mean, it, it, it gets the job done, but it's not one of my favorite colors. So, I mean, I'll throw it. So we'll, we'll that'll catch some fish. That's I love throwing a square bill. It's one of probably easily in my top three favorite baits to throw, especially right around that that size. I think that's always a good size. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller. Um, I really like banging them off of laydowns. Uh, maybe some brush piles sometimes, but not too much. I don't try to really get hung up that much, but definitely throw them around some laydowns and standing timber if I ever find any. It's not something I fish a whole lot of, but uh, I know down when we go down to AEP, there's there's they got a bunch of standing timber there and in a lot of those ponds. And uh, we're gonna head over to Knox Lake this year. I know they've got some good standing timber so we're gonna i'm gonna see what's up around those next up is that snatch snatch 70x this looks like a i think this is a chrome blue color i'll flip it over and make sure chrome bacon i don't know why it's bacon but i'll elaborate on that in a second so this is this is 5 8 ounce it's a it's a lipless crank uh, it doesn't doesn't say much other than that. Oh, there's the bacon part. So it's got that same hooks, sticky as hell, D ring, split ring, 
that. There you go. It's got that chrome on the sides, that blue black, that red right around the gill plate, and then that bottom part is like a that pink color. It's almost the color of my hand. But I th I'm that's probably where they get the bacon in from between that and the red. I don't I don't rightly know. I would have just called this a chrome blue or something. But let's give it a real tinny tinny sound but yeah it's not it's not like the that quake where it's got that that spot in the back where it's recessed right there it's just flat-sided let's see if I can hear I'll pull out a quake so there's the quake for comparison on body shape and that's just the the snatch so this is the quake 80 snatch 70 so that's the that's the difference there in, in the shape there we go. This one's from last month. This one's from this month. Go ahead and not to hook myself there. Those hooks are damn sticky. All right. Let's go up with the last. So those three hard baits are the only hard baits that came in this box this month. Um, I'll, I'll touch on that here in a second. But they did give us another Divine Swim Jig. This is the Blue Black Herring. Or Divine Underspin. It's not the Swim Jig. I'm sorry. So go ahead and crack that bad boy open. I've bought a couple of these on the side just because, well, they, they're they're well done under spin jigs and they've got this great bait keeper on it. I'll show you guys here in a second. But I was in the market for some uh, some underspins and well, these are the ones I liked. So I've got that nice sticky hook, just like all their other hooks. That unique bait keeper. I've, I don't see anyone else really do these corkscrew bait keepers, but once you get your soft plastic on there, as long as the nose is not ripping on your soft plastic, it is not coming off, which is a big plus. But it's got that nice willow blade underneath, so when you retrieve it, it's flashing, thumping, doing its thing. It's got that nice painted head, just like everything Sixth Sense. Always got that nice color. I don't know where they paint these at. Probably in China, but... They're, uh, wh whatever manufacturer makes these does a, does a pretty good job. So, that's definitely something, something I like. So, that's, that's the only other hook thing in here. Other than that, we've got these. These are the Divine Swim Baits. And this is 3.2 inch ice, or ghost ice minnow. Which is a, it's, it's a sweet color. Like, just looking at it through the package, it looks good. I'll bust them one out. Show you guys here. It's got no real noticeable smell. But, as you can see, it's that white color. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got that blue-purple flake in there. Say, it's re really, real subtle. But you can you can see it if if it's in person. These definitely looked. Uh, I, don't, I can't tell if it's packed with salt or if it just looks like it. It might just look like it. You can see it in the tail there. It might just be the plastic that's bubbled up or something. Can't really tell. But they've got that. Oh, there's some yellow flake in there too. When you roll it around, you can see it a little bit. It's like a lemon color. It's a real dark yellow. It's real hard to see though. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely salt. Definitely salt. It's coming off on the hands now. But so what I would do with that is I would just you can either a fish this like you would any other paddle tail. But one of the one of the things that I would do, especially out of this box, is you just throw that underspin on there, keep that bad boy like that. This is gonna come underneath, create like I said that thumping action and that flash, and this tail is just gonna work its work its action, and you're gonna you're gonna get some bites on that for sure. So it's definitely definitely a combo. I'll be uh, probably hitting up here. Oh man, definitely I'd say in the springtime. So I mean they'll be good all summer, but and into the fall probably. I don't know about that color, but we'll find out. So the last thing they got in here is the divine shaky worm. I don't know why everything's divine. I, I think maybe because they're I don't know. That's like some holy holy thing that they got going on over here i don't i don't rightly know or if it's just that that awesome i, I 
I don't know what their whole idea was with behind the divine thing, but that's what they what they do. So this color is let's see. Does it say? Maybe it's worm juice. I don't know. It says right there on the package, worm juice. And it's the th the three point or sorry, six point three inch. So all it is, it's just a little. It's a worm that's got the normal head with the bulbous tail. That'll create some action in the water. But it's got that green pumpkin belly with uh, that purple, red, black flake in it. And then it's got that motor oil brown type back with that like that same purple red and uh black flake so it's kind of like a green pumpkin uh with with red flake in it and then uh, like a, almost like a pb and j with a red flake on it but the flake is throughout the whole worm and not just relative to what side you're looking at it's evenly flaked all the way through maybe a little bit more black on the on the green pumpkin side and maybe a little bit more uh purple on the top but like i said it's all there so you can texas rig this uh you might be you might drop shot this uh i probably wouldn't wouldn't just because it's a, it's a little big i think i would maybe do like a smaller size for a drop shot but you do what you want you know it's the one thing about fishing you can't do it wrong it's just what works one day and in your location and whatnot i mean it's different day to day it's different condition to condition as far as the weather goes and all that and like i said there's no wrong way to fish it's just all about what works one day and what works the next you could be in the same spot different conditions different lighting it's you know it's it's really an art kind of so let's go ahead and recap these up guys all right so got that That Cloud Nine and the Jink Juice. We've got that Snatch 70 and that Chrome Bacon. That Crush 50S Silent and the Baby Bass. Those Divine Shaky Worms and the Worm Juice. Divine Swim Baits and the Ice or Ghost Ice Minnow. And that divine underspin in that oh that black hair or blue black herring plus to get their small bait back this month so oh i'd say it's a decent deal i wish they would have sent me one more hard bait uh just to bump up that value a little bit if you guys are interested in the value analysis of things i think once you add everything up in here it's right around that 50 dollars range uh this this uh i get the tailored sack i know that the premium sack this month did not come with the bait bag so that added value and then um they might have got a couple extra baits but it's also a couple dollars cheaper i get mine tailored to uh that above 12 foot range i think i'm going to change that just to cover everything and just keep the tailored option for the uh occasional gear so that would be like stuff like bags the rod sleeves i'm i want a rod sleeve from them just because i've heard great things about them but i don't want to pull the trigger and just buy rod sleeves I could use like one or two, uh, mostly because a couple of the rods that I really want to put rod sleeves on are a little too long for, I think, what they rate them for. I think they rate them for anything below like a 7.3 rod, and a lot of the rods I want to put sleeves on are like 8-footers, and a, a, uh, I believe I have a 7.5-footer that I want to put it on. So I don't really know if I want to risk having a rod that's, or a rod sock that's a little too small. So I'll probably just hold out until they send me one, which is awesome. So... Like I said, I, w I wish they would just get through me like one more bait just to bump up that value just a little bit. But the good thing about Six Sense is, is I'm never disappointed with what they send me. So I'm never not going to fish with something. I'm always going to try it and I know it's going to work. It's a very confidence-based sport, obviously, uh, fishing is. And they always send me quality baits that I know I'm going to fish and I know I'm going to catch fish on. So I'm not really looking for a big bump in uh as far as that value return or value investment you look at once you get that you know that forty dollar price point like i know it, like other companies want that like sixty dollar mark just to like oh like we send you 
X amount of baits for 40 bucks and you look how much value you're getting. And that's not what six cents is really about. Six cents is about giving you quality stuff at a good price and just putting together a package that's fit for you as a fisher in what, excuse me, the areas that you like to fish. So that's one thing I'm great about. Uh, one last thing before you guys go, I recently got these in the mail. Um, if you want one, go ahead and contact us on Facebook or, uh, Put a link in the comments and like tag your Instagram uh, or check out our Instagram. Give us a sh shout us out in a, a DM and I'll go ahead and mail you one of these out. Uh, just to say thanks for watching the channel. Um, go ahead and, you know, rep us wherever. Get, get that word out there that we are a small and growing channel and we're here local to the state of Ohio. And, you know, just trying to get the word out that we're, we're doing this, that, you know, we're making these these uh, content videos, uh, about to do some on the water fishing, um, just, you know, growing the brand really. So thank you guys for watching. Um, remember, if it's a fish you ain't catching, subscribe to Buckeye Yak Bassin, and we'll see you guys next time.